that we are being gathered here. De la manera que estamos aquí reunidos todos. That the believers, those who believe in Christ, they gathered like this in their homes. Dice la palabra que ellos, que aquellos que creían en el Señor Jesús se unían unánimemente en los hogares, estaban unánimes en los hogares. In this beautiful country, the Lord has chosen this beautiful place. Este, en este país tan hermoso, Dios ha escogido a un vaso como la hermana Teresa. I was, I was, uh, I had been to many, many places. Yo he estado por muchas partes del mundo. And I had worked, I even met the uh, Pope John Paul II. Inclusive fuimos a Roma el año pasado a conocer al, al, al... You know, I had been Papa. to many places Papa. and, yeah, Papa. I had, Papa. Papa. Yeah, I had Papa. been and worked with lots of people. He trabajado y conocido muchas personas. Today that we have a great experience here tonight. Hoy, este, nos hemos bendecido mucho. Dios nos ha bendecido mucho. Tiene una experiencia muy grande. Yeah, uh, this morning, you know, that has really brought us something, you know, about the love of God. Señor, me ha mostrado en esta mañana acerca del amor de Dios. We have to know that Jesus Christ has come not for the righteous people. Jesucristo no vino únicamente para la gente rica. And he has come for the broken hearted. Vino para las personas que tienen el corazón quebrantado. The sick. Para los enfermos. The lonely. Para los que están se sienten yeah. solos. The rejected. Los que están rechazados. The lame. Los que están cojos. The blind. Los que están ciegos. And today, you know, this great work, God has entrusted this beautiful lady. Y en este, en este trabajo tan precioso, Dios ha inquietado a una mujer como la hermana Teresa. It's not enough just to appreciate her. No es suficiente únicamente dándole las gracias a, a ella. It is like what you can do and what I can do. Hay que ver esto como qué puedo hacer yo y qué pueden hacer ustedes. Christianity is not just mere words. Este, hacer cristiano no es únicamente puras palabras. Bible says all whatever is given to us is to share for others. So this wonderful uh, lady is God's chosen instrument. Make sure that every one of you commit yourself to the Lord first. I mean, I'm not trying to introduce her, or I'm not trying to put her on the pedestal or anything, but her work is so big, I have to let you know this. God has given everybody some time. He has given some talents. Everybody was given some treasure. And you know, you cannot simply praise God with your mouth. But we have to give our heart, our mind, all that we have. All that we have. So like how today, I really want to tell you today, tonight, Make a pledge to the Lord. Yo quiero que en que en esta noche ustedes hagan una promesa al Señor. See, when God called a person like Moses in the world. Ustedes saben que cuando Dios llamó llamó una persona como nos enseña la palabra de Dios que llamó el Señor a Moisés. Even though Moses has seen him like a friend and he spoke to him very personally. It is the God's plan that Moses has to be lifted up for the victory of the Israelite people. Remember Moses was a human being like you and me. How long you can be looking like this? Tell me. We will automatically we will become very weak. So what God did before God could do when Moses' hands was drooped down este, después de que estuvo Moisés un tiempo, los brazos así, se cansó y los, los brazos se cayeron. 
So the, when Moses' hands was dropped down, the Israelite people, the chosen people of God, they were not in a position to go forward and fight the enemies. Why is this? Because God's plan. So now, Moses cannot be all the time, he cannot lift his hand forever. So God called one of the family members by Moses' side. And one from the congregation, like, like you all. And they were holding, every time his hands were coming down, these people were trying to hold. So, when Moses was lifted their hands all the time, the Israelite people were always victoriously marched ahead. Remember the moment the hands come down, the Israelite people came backward. That's the plan of God. So today, you know, God is sending people like, say, uh, I'm, I'm saying, saying to Raisa, maybe one day she's going to be a saint, great saint. Of course she's a saint. He's sending among us. I know we're very happy about her. But you see, if you want a Christian people to go forward, and it's better that we hold her. It is the Lord's decision. It, it's His plan. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, and even though you are not too many here, don't think, you know, what can I do for them? Maybe I have very little to give. Remember Jesus Christ, you read in Luke chapter 21, in that you see a poor widow. And she only could offer a little penny that she had. And she come forward to put in the basket. Many, many, many people wrote a big check and said, oh, But you know what? But, but Jesus appreciated not those people who give a big million dollar check. But, you know, the lady, she had for herself. But she gave with a great joyful. So the Lord appreciated that money. Just after all, two penny is nothing. Two penny is nothing. But today, the mathematicians in the United States, they calculated the money with a compound interest. That money can buy ten times the world today. That money today, they compounded it. And that money today, with that money, what she gave, 
Estúpido. They can buy ten times the world. Este, eh, los matemáticos han calculado que lo que ahora, el valor que dio ella de las dos monedas en aquellos tiempos, ahora es diez veces más, más grande que lo que vale. So, can you believe what the Lord has done? Amen. Just a little she gave. Two thousand years ago. Bible says he has not forgotten anything, even if you give a cold cup of water. So, on, on the last day, many people say, Lord, Lord, I did miracles, I, I preached, I did this, and I did that. But he says, I don't know you. Lord, I did miracles in your name. Uh, I, I prophesied in your name. I had visions. But it says, I don't know you. Get out of my sight, you wicked servant. But he turned around this. Read this, what it says. See, it says those people would try to feed those hungry and try to give a cup of water to the thirst and taking the shelter rain and taking care of the prisoners. Todo lo que dice ahí dice con mucho amor y agradecimiento de tus hijas espirituales del tanque del tanque del tanque este parque porque cuando teníamos hambre nos diste de comer tuvimos frío nos cubriste siempre enfermos nos diste la mano solas en la cárcel en la cárcel y te hiciste presa junto con nosotros. So this is what Jesus Christ expects. See, these people said, I did, I did, I did, I did. But these people were just cannot even see the Lord. Cannot even see the Lord face to face. But Jesus looked at them and said, Come on, my servants. Come on, my servant. Before this foundation of the world, the Father has gave this great treasure for you. And these people are wondering, what did I do for the Lord to recognize like this? And Jesus will look at those people, those who are standing to the right side, he's going to say, do you know that I, when I was, you know, I was naked, you gave me a cloth? I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me water. I, I was sick, you came and you showed mercy. I was in the prison and you came and set me free. <coughs> and those people will ask, Lord, when did we do this to you? And the Lord look at them and say, every time you are done to the least of this, my brothers and sisters, you are done to me. So please don't hesitate to do even the little work God has given you in your heart. Maybe you can give only two pesos. And maybe you can give ten minutes time to do some uh, work here. Remember, remember you're not doing for her. He will pay for you. He is going to pay for you fully. He will heal you. He 
He will take your family, he will take under his mighty mantle. And he can give you anything that you ask of. Because this is how we need to come together as family. It is, it is not her work alone. It is every one of you are coming to, to do this work. Maybe you, are, you may not be in a position to preach like me. Maybe you are not in a position to translate like her. But I know you can really pray. But, but I know that you have time to do something here. So my dear brothers and sisters, you know, next time when I come, I want to see this multiplied. See, God, God gave some people ten talents. Ten, ten talents. Some he gave five talents. Some he gave one talent. So he came and asked those people, oh, what did he do with my money? The ten, ten those who uh, got the ten talent, he said, Lord, I went and multiplied this ten and I hear I got twenty now. Well done, my servant. And here is the reward for you. Come on. Eh? And then he, he calls another guy. Hey, what I did with my money? The five, five talents. And, and he said, I doubled that floor. He said, he said, well done, my wonderful son. And uh, the one, the one who received one talent. And uh, he, he said he was just uh, shuddered to see the Lord. Shuddered. Yeah, shuddered. He's just uh, jittered. Yeah, frightened. Yes. He was shivering. You are a very austere man and very, you know, I know you are an austere man, you know, so I am afraid of you. What I did is I just, uh, I dug a hole and buried that money. And the Lord looked at this man and said, wicked servant, get out of my sight. See, I gave you, I know your capacity, I gave one talent for you. You would have multiplied that. You wicked and a lazy soul. Get the out of my sight. Give that talent to the guy which who already have. So therefore tonight, you know, there is a challenge for every one of you. And make sure that you you take this gospel for your neighbors, for your friends, or for your family members.